Hi everybody. Um, this is actually day three of my wet set and uh, I just thought I would do a little bonus just in case this dial turns out um, so you can see what day two or what day three looks like. My original style, I didn't brush out super heavily so the curls stayed pretty high. Um, that night what I did is I actually put it up in back into pink curls um, not very well, actually. It was very sloppily done on my part, uh, so we can see what happens when we don't take a whole lot of care the next day. I then threw on this lovely turban uh, from Sally Beauty Supply, slept on it, and I have worn it all day. I'm going to go swing dancing tonight. Uh, so you can see what I did the night before is um, just did just one really row of pink curls and then a couple of bobby pins here. Um, for the for the curls that don't really like to stay in very well, uh, and I also put a couple of duckbill clips in on the top in order to hold the wave at the top a little bit better. Uh, I usually, if I really wanted to save the style, I probably would have done um, more pink curls all the way through my head and have done. Um, uh, them in larger sections than I did the first time. Not nearly as small. Um, but I was feeling lazy yesterday and didn't really care too much how my, look, my hair looked today, so we'll see what this little lazy set ends up looking like on day three. Get all the pins out. And there's the curls left over from yesterday. Alright, we'll also take out my lovely pink duck booklets, which I love. I recently bought pink bobby pins, which I'm in love with. My hair color, I'm gonna go get my hair color topped up tomorrow. A little bit more of a finger brush. And you can see that's kind of the style it was in yesterday. Not too far off from yesterday's do, which is a little bit frizzy. And I don't usually use pomade because I haven't really figured out how to do it. But I'm going to try it today. I'm going to put a little bit of pommels. I haven't mastered the art of pomade yet, but I'll give it a shot today, just to help it. I'm just curious, this is the kind I've got here, Lady Luck. Okay. So we're going to do, similar to the day before, we're going to be using our Dunman brush. My dog's barking at me. And my comb, if necessary. My tail comb, if necessary. Maybe some more duck bill clips. And potentially some more wave clamps, if I feel they're needed. And start with a brush. I mean, it smells good. All right. That's kind of fun, just in and of itself, huh? The, with the pin back there, be kind of windswept. Okay. All right. So, like the style the day before, I'm going to start by brushing forward. Holding it and then brushing it back. Same as before.
seeing my waveform, a couple of duck bills. Boop, boop. Exaggerating that ridge so that I can easily put my wave clips in there. Boop, boop. Right, so now we're brushed back, so hold it back here, brush it forward again. Ah, try not to get your brush caught in the wave clip. Pretty good rule. You want to put the the duck bills in where you see the wave pushing at its furthest point. My bangs right there. And this is also where we're gonna keep brushing in that direction all the way around the head. Holding on to it, brushing the other direction. Wave's actually forming a lot better today than it was yesterday. Surprise! Sometimes day two is actually my better day with my sets. My hair is calmed down a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I was like, yeah, we're into it today. Sometimes the first day is a little crazy, but um, sometimes the exuberant curls are kind of fun. to get that wave at its the arc of its point there. As I hold it and brush it the other way. Back forward towards my face. Hopefully that ridge is going to pop up. ridge right there. You could leave it as waves if you want to. I'm going to try and do some more wave clamps to exaggerate it. Need two hands, do I feel. Try and grab onto it. Another lovely one right there. And grab that point right there. Oops, I got a little bit off of the point. It's okay, doggy. Hey. right here. Even I don't really see a wave, I'm going to grab it there. Just in case. Okay. So that's 
two revolutions. We brushed forward last. So and brush this way. Being careful not to disturb my other clips and cones too much. And grab that in the front. Pretty one right there. And I can also see this one right there. Right below the wave clip here. Hopefully. So you get that without a seam. This is actually the last duck bill clip I have with me today, so this will be my last wave. that and now brush it the opposite direction as much as I can trying to encourage the first part of that wave to stay forward So I'm not getting anything that looks like a consistent ridge here. So that might be where I started to do curls. So since that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and Brush under against my hand. And I do favor a fluffier look, um, probably because that's what I can get with my hair. Type. I can't get really sleek, um, sleek, sleek styles. My hair is naturally curly, so um, it does want to wave up a little bit. Right. Again, I've got a pretty blunt, actually very blunt cut because I like my hair to also be modern sometimes. This is to show you that a midi isn't necessary for everything. I think for longer hair, maybe it's more essential, but for shorter hair, it might not really be, unless you want more of a Maryland look. For the, for the 20s and the 30s do's, I think that um, a little bit blunter might actually work a little better. It's actually definitely not terrible to roll a little bit of hairspray. 